Begin by clicking on the icon for Plant Tracer. In the menu page, click on Gravitropism. A prompt tells you to click on the video icon to upload a video from your photo library. What you'll do here is click on the upper right hand corner where you see the flashing movie camera. You could select from the video gallery if you have time lapse movies you'd like to analyze that you've already created, or what will be done here is to click on a gravitropism sample video. Here's a movie of a rabbitopsis over a two hour period. This time lapse movie shows rapid change in the orientation of the shoot apex. Let's close the movie and go to the next page. Here a prompt tells you to use sliders to determine the beginning and end of the video. So we're going to trim the video. Make sure move, to remove the logo, the Lapsit logo. Lapsit is an app that you first use to record the time lapse movie. And to be able to compare between gravitropic response, we'd like to compare just the beginning where the apex moves to its vertical position from its original horizontal position. Click Next. Now specify the capture interval, that is frames per minute, which can be found in the Settings tab of the Lapsit app. The default is to take a picture every two minutes, which comes out to 0.5 per minute. So we're going to enter that value. And now we need to have a distance calibration. So to do this, we need to draw a line over the margin of the ruler. And make sure your ruler is placed on the focal plane, otherwise you'll have distorted perception of what the plant is doing. If the ruler is not quite straight, undo it and do it again. Try to make the ruler as uh, the line along the ruler as straight as possible. So that's about 15 millimeters. So in calibration, you're going to enter that distance. Now you need to tap to tag a tracking marker on the organ of interest. So you'll mark the apex or the part organ that's actually moving fastest. So I put a square there. And next, I need to mark the inflection point. That is the area of maximum bending. So we'll hit inflection, put down our point, and you can use replay just to make sure you got the right spot. And it looks like I did. Now you need to draw the line between the apex and the inflection points, which essentially marks the axis of the flowering stem. Next, you'll trace this. After the tracing, you can collect your data. It shows the distance the apex has moved, the rate at which it's moved, and the angle of bending of the line that marks the axis. It will also show you the displacement on the x-axis and the displacement on the y-axis. You can save a screenshot in your photo library of this data, and then you can upload this data to the Plant Tracer website. You do this by entering your email address, a name of an experiment, and a Arabidopsis accession, this could either be a wild type, which was what you were looking at. In that case, you would enter in Columbia. Or it could be the actual accession name, typically a knocked out, a mutant with a knocked out gene. And you'll put then, after that, the gene name and the gene ID, and then save this. You can now compare wild type to your actual mutant and see if there's difference, differences. Or you can compare your experiment to other experiments. Good luck using Plant Tracer.